Do you guys see it? Scheduled delivery pending pickup. It's happening. All right, you guys, so it is finally time. The motor is ready for pickup down at FedEx. Now, I'm gonna try to open it down there just to take a peek at it, um, just to make sure nothing is damaged so we're not running into the same issue that we did before. So I was supposed to be able to pick it up yesterday, which is Thursday for me, because you guys are seeing this on Saturday, but I'm in the past, so today's Friday. So I got the notification around 10 a.m. I was waiting for Melanie to get off work, so that way the both of us could just pick it up, put it in the back of the car like we did before. So I'm assuming that it's coming back to us on the same pallet that we sent it down there on. So, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go get the motor. Okay, so we just got down to FedEx. I don't really know if I can record down here because it's like a closed facility and whatnot, but they're like going back there right now to go find the engine. Once the engine's like found, they're gonna bring it out. We're gonna get it in the back of the car. Um, I'm gonna try to inspect it here. If not, we'll inspect it down to the house. No harm, no foul, but hopefully we can open it here and just make sure everything is in one piece. Oh, you have this pole? Oh, okay, you can't do it on that side too, right? I was like, how did you do that? My finger is in it, really. Hey, watch your hands. Perfect. So we have secured the engine. It is in the back. Now, I was going to open up the engine at the FedEx warehouse, but it is like packaged extremely well right now. There's like fragile stickers all over it. There's actual like ratchet strap tie downs on it. There's little protective cardboard pieces and it's saran wrapped to the pallet. So I don't expect any damage to be on this thing at all. There was absolutely no damage to any of the packing material on the outside of it. So 10 out of 10 on the packaging this time, much better than how we had it the first time. So we'll, we'll swing back up to the garage. We'll go open it up there where I actually have like cutting tools to be able to cut into this thing without trying to rip open saran wrap and whatnot with my hands in the middle of the FedEx parking lot. As entertaining as that would have been. We're not barbarians. We are not barbarian. We are not barbaric. We have to, is that a bear? Oh, that's a llama. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was a bear just in a field. Um, so we'll swing up to the garage, we'll go open this thing, get it up on an engine stand, inspect it, make sure there's no damage to the actual engine itself, which I highly doubt there is this time. Uh, just seeing the pack, that's a chicken. Yeah. Oh, that's not a real a chicken. chicken. God, I'm getting distracted by all these farm animals. Anyways, back to the garage. So we are back down at the house. I am ecstatic to get this thing opened up. So Melanie and I are just gonna pick it up. It's like 150 pounds. We'll set it right there. Once it's set down, we'll start opening it because I am, wow, you're just carrying it by yourself. Mm, only half. Only half. Here, let me grab it. Just leave it. Let me let me set camera down. You're doing great though. Yeah. Two, three. We sit down right over here. Oh, and we have more car parts. More car parts show up. All right, let's do small box first. That way all the uh, hype and buildup is gonna be on the big box. Which we already know what the big box is. But this is a box full of goodies also. Dope. So, fluid damper, crank pulley for the EG. IAG billet half moons for the EG. Boom, not gonna open these right now because I'm more concerned about the big box. Now for the fun part. Assuming, you know what, I just, I have a feeling everything will just be solid. If not, you're about to see a grown man cry for the second time. So we got saran wrap off and saran wrap off. Open together. Let's just get you open. So we've got styrofoam, styrofoam, engine, cardboard. You know what, hold up, before, before I take this out, I'm gonna take photos just in case. I learned my lesson last time. This, woo, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm not nervous, I'm not scared. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, so next up, this guy. Boop. These two. Boop. What are we looking at here? 
Oh yes, it's all in one piece right there. Okay. All right, so the broken part from before is now fixed. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh, it smells like horsepower. The motor has made it and it is literally all in one piece this time. I am so pumped. We have no more broken motor mount down there. The other side is also good. There's no cracks, no damage to what I can see on the block. Let's get this thing up on the engine stand, go over it, thoroughly inspect it as well. Once it's on the stand, we can start like planning out how we wanna tackle this. If we wanna get the heads bolted onto this thing tonight, if we wanna wait till a different video, I don't quite know yet. I'm just excited that it's all in one piece right now. So let's get this thing on the stand. It's in one piece. There's nothing broken. <laughs> My mistress, your heart has arrived and it's all in one piece this time. Oh, I'm so pumped. So everything looks to be solid on this setup. Our closed decking is back. These are different case halves. So if you guys remember from last time, I'll play a little clip right here of the damage on the last case half set. Oh, I like it. a beard. Oh my God, it's broken. This whole area right here is where these pieces came off of. And this, like I said, very important parts. Um, the integrity of the block is just shot at this point. The block is cracked going through there. We are golden, you guys. There is no more damage on there. All of our motor mounts are there. I'm so hyped for this. You have absolutely no idea. I inspected everything. Everything looks solid. There's a little bit of grease and dirt that I can go through here and clean up just like on the face of wherever our heads meet up. Um, it's no big deal. I'll go buy some brake clean in the next couple. Actually, I'm going to go buy some brake clean tomorrow because we're putting the heads on in the next video. I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, a, it's like six o'clock. I'm going to do a live stream here soon. I don't, I'm not going to rush literally anything on this. Um, I did go through and I started to like test fit up the oil pump. The oil pump fits perfectly. Um, the, I have the water pump, timing belt tensioner. I have so many parts ready for this to just like bloop, just bloop it right in there. Oh, and all this like nice zinc hardware. Just, oh baby, I love it. I'm so excited for this. You know what? I'm gonna test fit a head on here just because I want to. We're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna install it, but I am gonna test fit it. We're gonna, yeah, why not? Yeah, we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gentle. Gentle, we're a gentle giant right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the first. Oh my god, that's the first time the cylinders had been on this engine. Woo! Okay, hold up. Oh, careful. Okay, I'm not gonna actually put it on, but holy. Holy. Sh oh my. <laughs> it's on there. Like, it's set on there. But oh my god. 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 This scares me a little bit. I don't know why, but it scares me a little bit. Oh my God. I've waited months. I've waited literal months for this. And it's here. And it's to, it's like set it, it's setting, it's sitting. It's sitting on, oh. You guys, the cylinder, oh my God, oh. All right, it's just sat on there right now, obviously. There's no head studs or anything like that in there. It's just lined up on the uh, on the dowels. But oh my God, you guys, look look how big this thing is. This thing is huge and it's so clean. And look at the massive porting on the heads. I am way more excited than I thought I'd be. We have 3.3 liters of engine flat goodness. It's going to dominate everything with just a couple overnight parts from Japan that we already have on the table. I need to get the turbo ordered for this. I need to take a breather. Give me a minute. I'm way too hyped. Nice. Got like a 10 head going on. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. So we're not actually going to start assembling the EG until the next video. Um, a, it's starting to get late. It's like almost seven o'clock right now. Like I said, I don't want to rush anything on this build. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to start building this thing though. We're going to get the head studs in. We're going to get the heads bolted on. I did find out because I did order the IAG half moons for those heads because the part number between an EJ and an EJ and an EG were same, same but they definitely don't fit. So I'm gonna have to order a new set tonight, uh, as well as a couple other smaller things here and there just to be able to get this going. But we can get the heads bolted on the short block, which we're gonna do tomorrow. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'm super pumped that the EG is back and it is back in one piece. Like that thing looks beautiful over there on the engine stand. 
And it's a lot less stressful now that I'm like trying to deal with FedEx and the whole insurance stuff. That was just a nightmare to deal with. I hope none of you guys ever have to do something similar with like a built motor or anything like that because it's just a nightmare. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, whatever color it turns for you. And today, the color of the day is going to be gold. It's gold today in commemoration of the Pistons in the EG33. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up because we're doing, we're like the first ones to do this engine swap in a VA chassis. So, I mean, you don't want to miss out. You really don't want to. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.